what inspired you to IT field? The first day I was entered in computer lab when the ma'am gave me the uh, brief about C language and how can we code, how can we achieve things. I also created some uh, fascinating programs like how to find a prime number. From that day, it's like my dream to be a software developer. I prepared for HR for your lecture. I was watching your lecture. So after the detail, I went to self-analysis and thought about it. And I wrote a few true things about it. So I can express myself better. So uh, how are you, Abdullah? I'm fine, sir. Okay. Uh, could you please, uh, I'm also good. Could you please tell me something about yourself? Okay, sir. Thank you very much for allowing me to introduce myself. My name is Abdullah Suleiman. I'm from New Delhi. I did my schooling from CBSC board and currently pursuing engineering in computer science. The last three years I spent, I sharpened my technical skills as well as my communication skills. Talking about my technical skills, I have a good knowledge of C, C++ and Java and have, I'm familiar with the core concepts like DBMS and OOPS concepts. Talking about my internships and projects, I did one internship with a startup called BookSoul as an Android UI developer. And I completed three group projects. In all three projects, I was lead. And my current project is Cat Bank. It's an online banking solution where users can transfer their amount. Talking about my soft skills, I love public speaking and leading a team. I also participate in many group discussions, many debates in my school as well as in my college. I also represent my project group in college. I am very hardworking and have a learning attitude. Talking about my hobbies, I like to read books, especially non-fictional books. I like to play chess and sometimes I like to play guitar. I love cutting edge technologies like AI, ML, cloud computing. And currently, I'm on a path of learning them. I want to be a software developer and want to work in a leading company just like TCS. Thank you, sir. Okay. Abdullah, could you please elaborate a bit about your family background? My family is uh, very uh, open-minded and uh, I have one big brother, elder brother and five sisters. And... Uh, all our, uh, we are live together right now. We are a joint family. Okay. Uh, what is the occupation of your brother? My brother is a civil engineer and currently working in Reliance Electrician. Your brother being a civil engineer, what inspired you to IT field? It's like uh, you know, usually it happens like a family hierarchy. If, if you are your your you know brother or maybe a member of your family is from civil background. So the whole family, you know, follows the trend. But what inspired you to IT? Yes, sir. When I was in 11th class, my subject was introduced. The first time I introduced C++, uh, the subject is CS. So when I when the first day I was entered in uh, lab, computer lab, I very fascinated uh, when the ma'am gave me the uh, brief about C language and how can we code, how can we achieve things, how the logical thinking we require. And I also create some uh, fascinating programs like how to find a prime number. And this really inspired me from that day. It's it's like my dream to be a software developer and I want to be work in a coding line. So I break that hierarchy and join the IT. Okay. Uh, what is the difference between C and C++? Uh, C, uh, the, the main difference is C++, uh, C++ is object-oriented programming and C is a procedural programming. In procedural programming, the, uh, we follow top-to-down to, top to approach and C++ is an object-oriented programming. We can do modular programming in, in it. We can use different functions, uh, pillars like abstraction, encapsulation, class, and objects. And it, all, and, and it also provides security because class is by default is private. But in C++, we have a structure. Structure is public. So there is no security in C. There is much security in C++. And there, and there is also a difference of dynamic memory. Like we allocate dynamic memory using new operator and delocate the memory to delete operator. 
and uh, in C++ we use uh, a, 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 a inheritance like multiple inheritance we don't use inheritance in C language so and uh, the C++ follow bottom to top approach okay uh, almost all the programs you know uh, you perform can be performed in C++ as well in Java as well as well as in C it's not like any particular program uh, is there that you which you can compile in Java, but you cannot in C plus you know in C, right? Almost all the programs can be made in C language as well as well as C plus plus as well as Java. Just a difference is about the syntax, semantics working, and and basically uh, the speed at which user executes you know uh, makes the program right. So what right. was the need of object orientation? There was a C language. Every program was possible. Uh, to make every functionality was possible to implement and why object-oriented programming was introduced? Sir, we use object-oriented programming to achieve modular programming. In order to organize our code, that's why we use uh, modular programming. Because in, in a real-life scenario, we have a big project and we need to organize our code. Like we have to make the modules, like this module do this transaction, this module do login. So for this, so that our code more readable, become more readable and any other person come uh, like in my team, there are so many members so that anybody can understand easily. And the main thing is I can identify the bug in which module the bug is there. If I write the whole code in the void main, like in C and finding the bug, it's so difficult. So that's why uh, by, uh, while we use big project, why we doing big project, we use modular programming to organize our code. Okay. Great. What is the difference between malloc and calloc in C language? Uh, malloc, uh, malloc and calloc both use for allocation memory, but there is a difference between them. Malloc only allocate the memory, calloc allocate the memory, but also initialize it by the value zero. And the second difference is malloc take only one parameter and calloc take two parameters. The one parameter which malloc take is the number of bytes the user want and the calloc take two parameter. How many block of memory you required and and what are what is the size of that memory uh, memory of each block. Okay. So that's the difference. Okay. Uh, what is the difference between structure and union? Structure and union. Uh, structure is in class and we use structure for uh, for grouping the objects like I can assign int a, int b, int c but in union whenever I define a variable like int a and int b it only assign a single block of memory to both of them. So if I uh, I can give you example like uh, in a union we I define male and female. So whenever I use male and female that can be a male or either a female. So I cannot put bo both the values, male or female. But in structure, I can put male in male section and female in female section. Union take only one value because it allocate only one location for both the variables. Okay. So that's the main difference. Okay. Suppose I have an array of size uh, 100, let us suppose. Okay. In that okay. array, the character array, we can insert any character from A to Z. Okay, one character obviously will take one space, right? So we can have hundred characters in that sense. Okay, so I give you an array filled with characters. Your task is to find the occurrence of each alphabet. Like alphabet A is occurring how many times? B is occurring how many times? So I don't want the exact program, but the, your logic and approach to you, how you are going to solve it using program. I can solve this program by using the STL library. There is unordered map. I can count the frequencies of number of uh, times a character uh, occurs. So by using, by counting the uh, frequency, by using the un uh, unordered map, I use unordered map because it uh, consumes less time complexity. So uh, I will count how many a number, how many times a character uh, occurs, and simply print the occurrence of that number, of that character. Okay. Uh, is it always possible to increment or decrement a pointer variable? No, sir. 
uh, in some cases we can't increment or decrement our pointer because uh, i can give you example in array the array pointer the a zero position it denotes but uh, we can't do a plus plus in array so that's the example where we cannot increment the array but most of the time we can't increment the array if i denote array and i do one uh, p plus plus for example p is a pointer it it start uh, pointing to the next location but we can't do uh, this in array okay uh, suppose i uh, write two statement one is n is equals to n plus 1 and the second one is n plus plus okay which will execute uh, sorry first. sir could you repeat your sign yeah suppose i write two statement statement one is n is equals to n plus 1 we are incrementing the value of n by 1 using n is equals to n plus 1 the second statement is again doing the same thing incrementing the value of n by 1 we have used post increment operator n plus plus okay so out of statement 1 and 2 which will execute faster and why Sir, n plus plus will execute faster because it's a unary at operator, and uh, n plus one executes slower than n plus plus because we use an extra uh, two. Uh, we we using two operation in this, so uh, the n plus plus will execute, and the fastest way is plus plus n. It will the fastest in among three. Okay. Uh, uh, what is Java Virtual Machine, Pilla? JVM, J Java vir Virtual Machine is an interpreter which interprets the byte code. The byte code, uh, any program, any Java program which compiles, it did not directly compile into machine code. It first compiled into byte code. Then that byte code is uh, platform independent. After that, that byte code is interpreted by JVM line by line. And JVM is the one which call the void main uh, method. So JVM is the interpreter for Java. Mm -hmm. uh, suppose I, I, you know, give you a string, okay, and I am sensible enough. I'll only type integers in my string, okay. I, I, I promise I won't type any character in my string, okay. So I am giving you a string, and I promise you that the string will have only integer values, okay. It can have any integer, twenty two, one twenty seven, three ninety five, any integer. I want you to convert that you know string the 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 number present in, in a string to a integer so that we can perform the multiplication division operator in that how are you going to achieve this in c programming i can use the function string to int the function the stoi function which convert the string into integer i can use that approach if i using mm -hmm. string Okay. The function name is ATOI, ASCII to integer. What, sir? The function name is ATOI, ASCII to integer, not STOI. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Um, uh, why, you know, most of the IT companies use Java, though Python has a uh, lot of, you know, it has the ability to code even faster. Because the first reason uh, is platform independency. Java is the only language which is platform independent and we can code, uh, compile once and run everywhere. So that's the main reason. And also Java provide very security and also provide a garbage collection. So these are the factors which, uh, <clears throat> and Java is also a ob uh, object oriented programming. Uh, approx purely object oriented programming. Okay. Uh, could you please explain me the diamond problem? Diamond problem, uh, sir, diamond problem in backlog or in inheritance? Inheritance, okay. Uh, the diamond problem is, uh, is occur in Java when we are doing hybrid inheritance because the first part of uh, 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 hybrid is the, there is a subclass which is derived by two drive class. So that is allowed in uh, Java. That's a uh, hierarchical. But after that, that two classes are uh, extended by some C class. So th uh, those two classes are drive are derived by one class. We cannot extend two class in one class. So that's the diamond shape. And that's called, that's why we call a diamond problem. Okay, next one.
no no issues i got your point is multiple inheritance possible in c++ multiple inheritance yes multiple inheritance is possible in c++ okay is it possible in java no sir multiple inheritance uh, not in cla class but we can perform multiple inheritance in interface interface is allowed uh, we can implement two interface in one class so in uh, multiple inheritance is possible in java what is the difference between class and interface in interface uh, every method is abstract we did not uh, uh, did not define the body of the function in class we define the function we properly define the method of each uh, the number of method we define in a class we have to define its body but in interface we only uh, define the prototype the heading of it and after that we have to implement that interface in a class so that we can use it and uh, further we can define that uh, body of that method so that's the difference okay. what is the difference between relational algebra and relational calculus relational algebra relational uh, so sorry sir i am not uh, recalling it right now okay in asset properties what is the meaning of what is the full form of the term c c sir c stand for consistency which means that before the transaction and after the transaction the amount should be uh, remain same like i have 100 rupees and my friend has 500 rupees i sent 50 rupees to his bank account so the total amount is 600 which should be uh, which should be same before and after the transaction so that's refers the consistency of uh, asset property c okay could you please tell me something about your project Sir, uh, I uh, it's an Android based application where user can transfer their money and it's a digital wallet where you can open an account in just few simple steps. Uh, in just few simple steps and uh, after the registration, uh, after the registration in the app, you, you receive a mail in your registered email ID with the account number and when you add account with when you add account number with the password you can easily log in into cad bank and cad bank is powered by the google's firebase and have a connectivity firebase so that your data should be secure in cad bank so uh, and i will tell you about the modules in the programming the first module is whenever you open the app it shows the login activity and the registration activity and the user can register fill its detail and hit the register button and he will receive the account on hit uh, an account mail account number on its registered email id and after getting the account number and the password he created he can easily log in and after click clicking the login button the uh, the main menu pops up in the main menu we have check balance icon we have transaction icons whenever you click a transaction icon the forms uh, the sort of form will open up and it asks for the sender's name, the sender's account number. So after filling the details, the amount you want to send and click the send button, the amount is deducted from your, from your wallet and added to your sender's wallet. And uh, that's how the transaction works. And uh, uh, the, uh, the challenges which I faced because I was the head of the group. So my duties were uh, the transaction met dues. The preparing of transaction module and login and uh, and the register ui so when i was uh, developing the transaction module i was facing the uploading and fetching problem so in order to face that challenge and in order to achieve the solution i developed a dummy module and applied all my solution on that particular dummy module and and after going through many test tests i find the the perfect solution which i am looking for and that is that solution i pref uh, preferred in my main transaction module and as i said i was the lead of a group and uh, i help my team members in doing the project research beside my work uh, and help each members whenever they encounter some bug or any problem uh, project related problem Okay. So that's the project. What do you think is the future scope and accuracy of your project? 
the future is so much bright i have so much ideas i can give a uh, in recent time I, uh, we are launching the update for the cat bank where user can scan and pay where user can see the transaction history and we are including the chatbot in our app so the future is scope of cat bank is so high okay so is your project ready for alpha and beta testing or is there any progress you know uh, left to be done sorry sir i couldn't hear you is your project ready for alpha beta testing basically ready for launching or are there any uh, improvements which needs to be done before launching it sir we are not ready for launching it is still in alpha testing because we are testing uh, the, the member of our team and uh, 10 member approximately we are testing right now and may, and making some changes because uh, we don't want that the app will crash if i launch in beta version so we are uh, fixing some bugs but although the transaction the uh, the, the main concept and the main logic is completely working fine Uh, Abdullah, in your uh, you know uh, the, the project is basically on Android, right? So yes, what is the difference between activities and services in Android? You might have learned this thing. Activities and sir services. Sir, uh, sir, activities uh, in Android Studio. Uh, the activity is a uh, is a plate uh, is a. where we can code and we can do the ui that's the activity and the services it's uh, services sir i don't know i only work with the activities and the drawable folder and the <clears throat> and 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 the layout uh, files mm -hmm. uh, after your 10 uh, after your 12 plus uh, you have taken a gap of one year right So yes, sir. Would you justify the reason for the same? Yes, sir. Sir, I take a gap for preparing the IIT, and I also prepare for many national level uh, competition for engineering, and I also fill the form for my twelfth uh, for the uh, for my uh, for my ten twelfth uh, class uh, uh, for the improvements. Sorry, sir. For the improvement and for the IIT, I take this gap. and prepare myself and i also give ip university exam akt university exam so that year i totally devoted to study and prepare for that okay uh, and that's why yeah yes sir okay yeah please thank you yeah, and that's why i score and uh, clear the akt exam and uh, entered in this college okay uh, how easily you give up on things i generally i generally don't give up easily uh, on things for example if i have a problem it keeps running on mind uh, like i do very much passive thinking and i try and try and try as much sol solutions as, as i have okay uh, suppose you meet two persons one is you know very diplomatic and the second one is a absolutely practical person who would you prefer and why uh in a workplace i will uh, i would prefer a practical guy and so that our mentality could match and i can easily understand him and if i understand a person i can give the whatever the work he he or she wanted and because understanding is the main thing if i understand my team member i can easily provide his level of his work okay so you love practical people right so right. same is with me i love practical people so i am asking you a question and i don't want a diplomatic answer i want you to be practical okay, okay. Right. if you are not selected for interview right or maybe after one year or maybe after two year if you are fired from the company due to any x y z reason what could be that reason of your rejection what is your biggest weakness and a honest weakness i want I don't so want you to portray your strength as a weakness. Sir, could you please repeat the question? My, uh, I I want a practical answer for what is your weakness, your honest weakness. I don't want you to be diplomatic like saying strength as your weakness. 
uh, or if you are not selected in this interview or if you get fired from the company at any any time what could be the reasons for the same so my weakness my weakness is i am little bit impatient are you asking about my weakness right sir because there is something hearing issue i am facing yeah i am asking about your weakness yeah so i am little bit impatient uh, because whenever i was thinking about some problem and the answer strikes me i just go and solve that and immediately apply that solution because and without thinking about the boundary cases so this really leads some time uh, very big errors but uh, now what i do i write the code on a whiteboard and give a second analysis to it so this this technique really helps me and if the if, if company rejects me that's the that, that's you are asking sir yes, so if you are not selected in the interview what do you think could be the possible reason for this so uh, sir i am trying my best and uh, i will try my best if i try again because tcs deserve uh, deserve the give a second try my second try also okay uh one very simple question uh, you said that uh, you know you have a dream of working at tcs uh, why you want to join tcs and not other similar companies so tcs is among the most valuable it service company worldwide in 2011 tcs became the first it service company to cross the 100 billion market capitalization and in the same year tcs ranked 11th on the fortune 500 list and currently tcs working with the government and government project like passport seva digital indian post the 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 income tax filing and many more projects and i read so many uh, uh, reviews on quora and majorities of them are very positive people are appreciating tcs training tcs environment tcs work culture and i personally talk to my seniors who already been placed in tcs they all encourages me to join tcs too and i personally feel that tcs is it match my capability and give me a launch pad where i can grow and contribute in company success okay uh, one very simple question like suppose uh, there is a delay in joining from our side and in the meanwhile some other company comes and offers you immediate joining right and a package slightly greater than ours the same job opportunity uh, what would be your reaction for the same sir currently i am looking in the same domain your uh, company operates in and if i will i would offer a higher package i will refuse that package because tcs provide the best training and best environment and my and and right now my focus is not on package my focus is on learning that where i am getting a best learning and tcs is a great and mnc where i can grow and contribute in 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 a world in a country and make a difference so i don't feel for a higher package i will i will refuse that sir okay tcs invest a lot in startups so are you aware of any startup which tcs you know invested the money yes tcs invest in many startup the recent is 1mg and 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 in past tcs invest in paytm also tcs invest in lenskart also snap deals also and many more startups the list is kept going on and on okay have you scrolled our website yes sir okay we we have a new digital hub called as tcs ion so yes, do you have any knowledge of that uh i visit your website at the official websites and read about the company clients and all and i also visit the tcs ion it's a digital for uh, competitions it uh, my competition also to, uh, or organized by tcs ion so it's for the students like the tcs also provide the tcs career so where it give the training and simulation of the interview so T uh, tcs ion is a similar like where it organize our tcs exam also okay uh, suppose again uh, 
there is a delay in joining for some reason so how are you going to utilize that time to grow personally as well as technically what all things will you be learning and what all soft skills will you be acquiring in this course of time sir if i get a chance then i will surely do because right now i i, I am doing the ai and ml courses and i want to grow my knowledge my technical knowledge in these fields like cloud computing and ai and ml so i will if i get a chance i will grow my long, uh, knowledge in this domain okay. how do you keep yourself updated with new and latest technology of uh, i i do multiple things like i follow the multiple technology channels on instagram i also follow the google google uh, microsoft and many twitter handles also which provides me the latest updates of technology any instagram channel uh, you would like to quote for the same of uh, there are couple of like code uh, code code with us python with us and the harry Co harry, harry, Cord harry coder and we have another uh, google's internship and job okay uh where do you see yourself basically 10 years from now personally as well as professionally sir i i have a communication skills i have a good communication skills and a leadership quality and after investing my few years in a leading company just like yours i become capable enough so that i can see myself leading a big project okay so you are leading a big project and you are not getting you and your team is not getting the necessary breakthrough okay there are some technical glitches you basically it's all about clicking of the logic right so you and your team is not able to get that breakthrough you are not able to kick that logic okay and the deadline is coming soon so your team is totally depressed and demotivated in such a circumstances being a leader how are you going to keep your team motivated if we are not up to up to the line like we are leading our uh, deadline so i will not force my team members that do hard work as much as uh, possible that's that will not provide me the solution because i believe my team member will all, already doing their 100% so in that time in that hard time i will encourage them and i will uh, i will uh, talk to them personally that where where is the problem we are facing in in a group discussion i will conduct a group discussion where everybody can talk not just i am a leader i can talk everybody can discuss their problem because if the if my team member will open up and and share the problem they are facing so i am really sure that the solution will come up and we will meet the guideline uh just a puzzle i would like to ask you suppose uh, we have a weighing scale right uh, we don't have the grams to weight okay we just have the weighing scale and we have 12 points right uh, all the points are of equal weight there is a defective point also there okay so one coin is defective which is slightly of less weight as compared to other points okay so we have 12 points h1 h2 h3 up till up till h12 okay we have 12 coins all the coins are equal weighted except for one one coin is slightly of lower weight but you are not knowing which coin has the lower weight all you have is 12 coins they look identical okay you just can't you know the weight is very less right very the, the difference is very less so uh, you just can't hold it and check whether it's you know the defective one so all you have to check is using the weights so how many tries of weights are required in minimum you can take your time no issues and how many uh, minimum times we can have this we can identify the point sir minimum we need 3 okay, could you explain how 
sir first of all we have to group them in four 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 coin each so we have three sets like one two three okay one two three and four two six and uh, seven two nine <laughs> ten to twelve okay we have four groups and uh, i choose first group and uh, in that group i will uh, i will wait uh, the four coins here and the four four coins from uh, different set is here and i will uh, weighing them and one of them will weigh higher and one one of them uh, lower for example like uh, they are exactly the way the same for example they exactly weigh the same so our my coin must be in the last set because they both so if in that case i have uh, four coins then again i will do the same i will put the two coins here two coins here and if if one of them will weigh less i will again weigh so that's how Okay. Uh, one last question I would like to ask, like you have good technical skills, uh, you are good with knowledge uh, and you said that uh, you never give up on your dreams. Okay, so at time you had a dream to get into an IIT. Okay, so why don't you do MTech and you know, uh, pursue IIT career at IIT? Sir, after getting uh, after pass from 12th, everyone has a dream to get a good college and I also had a dream. But after spending my graduation year, I feel that it is so theoretical. I, I have very exciting uh, subject in my school, in my college, sorry, like yeah, ML, web technologies and many more. But they are teaching very theoretical. I am not getting that. I, that much I want and that's why I was trying for IIT because I heard that IIT provide the technical uh, the practical uh, approach so now if I get a chance to enter in an IT sector where everything is practical and another option is going uh, again in books so definitely I will choose practical and IT sector always I will not pursue the M tech yeah um, so uh one uh, two or three more questions i would like to continue like uh, suppose you are leading a team and you have a choice to choose either a fresher or experienced candidate uh, what would be your choice and why obviously the fresher will be updated with new and latest technologies and enthusiasm will be of next level zeal to work will be of next level ego will be little less as he is a junior and a fresher but with experienced candidate comes many benefits he knows how to deal with clients, he knows how to deal with tough situations, he can be of great asset to your team. But the point is you can make only a single choice. Sir, in that case, I will choose uh, experience one because he has an experience which I can use in many projects. Like uh, there is, uh, we, we don't need coders every time because I already have some coders. They are for example they are not good much as the new guy but by combining them to a more coder they, they can uh, create a much greater and bigger thing than the fresher so i will prefer the experience one because the experience will will not come easily and i will get experience not easily and anywhere so i can use that experience to crack my many projects not this one I can use that logic. Okay. What do you do in your free time? Uh, in my free time, I like to teach students uh, on online as well as offline. And uh, in my free time, uh, I like to play chess and uh, I like to read books, uh, especially non fiction books. Great. Uh, any relocation issues or bond related or shift related issues? Yeah. No, sir. I am comfortable with any location because I am very adaptive to natural places. For example, my college is in Ghaziabad and I live in Delhi. So I am very comfortable and adjust easily in places. So I don't think any issue will I face. Okay. Uh, any question you would like to ask to us? Uh, I have one question, sir. Uh, I want to ask that uh, TCS organize any uh, sports events in for employees? Yeah, there are many sports events, intercompany as well as intra-company events. 
there are many marathons as well and uh, we have a whole you know sports area for you to play obviously after your work hours you can yes. spend time in play your sports there no issues in that you will get good friends uh, who can be of great contributor as a team to your sports as well right uh, it was nice interacting with you abulla your result will be communicated shortly over email wish you all the best thank you sir okay abulla कैसा रहा एक्सपीरियंस लाइक मैं तो आपको फीडबैक दूंगा बट पहले आप बताओ लाइक कि ये जो हमने नई शुरुआत की है मॉक इंटरव्यू की लाइक क्या लगता है हम ठीक कर रहे हैं या ऐसा है कि सर वेस्ट ऑफ टाइम है मनी है सर वेस्ट ऑफ टाइम तो बिल्कुल नहीं था मेरा रियली मुझे वो एक क्या कहते हैं उसे एक्सपीरियंस मिल गया कि कैसा होता है और ये तो टीचर्स का तो और हार्ड लगेगा मुझे और तो बहुत सही था मुझे तो बिल्कुल वेस्ट ऑफ टाइम नहीं लगा सर काफी सही था हार्ड नहीं होगा देखो यू हैव पेड फॉर इट तो मेरी मजबूरी थी कि आधा घंटा चालीस मिनट लेना राइट तो आपकी एक चालीस मिनट बैठने की हैबिट बन गई टीचर्स इंटरव्यू वो भी दिस बिग लाइक पंद्रह मिनट बीस मिनट बहुत से बहुत राइट तो डिफिकल्टी लेवल तो सेम रहेगी इनफेक्ट वो आपके लिए थोड़ा सा ईजी रहेगा लाइक बीस मिनट पंद्रह बीस मिनट रहेगा तो क्या लाइक क्या आपको लगा कि लाइक यहाँ से जो कुछ भी आपने सीखा आपके एक्चुअल इंटरव्यू में यूजफुल रहेगा वो या इतना कुछ बहुत ज्यादा बेनिफिशियल नहीं था सर मैंने कुछ आपकी लेक्चर से एचआर के लिए प्रिपेयर किया था बिकॉज मैं बहुत लाइटली ले रहा था एचआर को कि बस ऐसे ही पूछेंगे बट मैंने सर आपके लेक्चर देखे थे तो आपने इतना डिटेल में बताया तो मैं खुद सेल्फ एनालिसिस में चला गया अपने बारे में सोचने लग गया और मैंने बिल्कुल टू थिंग्स लिखी अपने बारे में कि भाई ये ये मैं चाहता हूँ ये ये मेरी स्ट्रेंथ है और उनको मैंने फ्रेम किया तो इससे हेल्प मुझे ये भी हुआ कि मैं अपने आप को और अच्छे से एक्सप्रेस कर पाता हूँ एच आर में और सर आपने जो अभी टेक्निकल शुरुआत के तो मैंने प्रिपेयर कर रखे थे और जब आप सर एंड्रॉइड पे चले गए वो तो बड़ा टफ था वो तो एंड्रॉइड पे और भी कुछ पूछना था बट एक्चुअली इंटरव्यू बहुत लंबा हो रहा था तो एचआर का भी मैंने सोचा था दो तीन क्वेश्चन करेंगे बट वो मैं समझ गया था कि जो आंसर्स मैंने सिखाए हैं तो वही के वही आ रहे हैं तो इसलिए फिर मैंने तो बार देखते हैं कि कितना सिंसियरली आपने लिया है उसको और सर मैंने खुद लिखा मैंने खुद ही सब प्रिपेयर किया एग्जैक्ट कॉपी कहीं से कुछ नहीं लिया मैंने जनरल लिख लिया नहीं एक्चुअली पॉइंट क्या है ना इसलिए मुझे पता है अगर मैं एक सेट ऑफ आंसर देता तो सारे बच्चे वही कॉपी मार के आते इसलिए आपने देखा था कोर्स में तीन चार सेट ऑफ आंसर मैंने बताए कि लाइक ये भी बोल सकते हो ये भी बोल सकते हो ताकि जिसको जो पसंद है ओवरऑल फीडबैक की बात करूं तो जस्ट सेकंड में आपका रेव्यू मैं बोलता हूं तो आ, मेरा ऑडियो वीडियो एकदम क्लियर था थ्रो आउट जस्ट गिव वन मिनट ओके रेव्यू में या तो आपने जो अपडेटेड रेज्यूमे मुझे शेयर किया है एक तरीके से आप ये मान के चलो कि आप बच गए हो लाइक क्योंकि पुराने रेज्यूमे में तो लाइक बैंड बच जाती बिकॉज इतना सब कुछ आपने लिखा हुआ था उसमें लेट मी ओपन इट यस वो मैंने कम किया हाँ तो मैंने कहा यार ये मुझे लग रहा था कि लाइक फेंकने वाला काम भी खूब हो रहा है तो एज पर योर लेटेस्ट रेज्यू में मैं देख पा रहा हूँ देखो यार Uh, आप आपने मेरा इंटरव्यू कोर्स देख लिया ना एक बार आई रिक्वेस्ट यू कि आप एक बार रेज्यूम कोर्स और देख लेना चीजें आपने सही लिखी हैं कोई प्रॉब्लम नहीं है बट ये जो पॉइंट्स आप ऐसे लिखते हो ना लाइक इसमें आपने ना टेक्निकल और आपकी सॉफ्ट स्किल्स को मर्ज कर दिया है ना जबकि एक सेपरेशन होना चाहिए उसमें क्योंकि पहले टेक्निकल इंटरव्यू या टेक्निकल क्वेश्चन पूछता है फिर एच वाला आपका एच क्वेश्चन पूछता है राइट right? तो अभी आप यहाँ पर देखो आपने क्या लिखा कोडिंग लिखा लॉजिकल प्रोग्रामिंग लिखा अभी क्रिटिकल थिंकिंग मैनेजमेंट लीडरशिप आपकी सॉफ्ट स्किल्स है है ना तो इन सब चीजों का थोड़ा सा ध्यान देना है दूसरा आई डोंट नो एक ही चीज को दस बार लिखने का क्या मतलब है लाइक आपने पहले क्रिटिकल थिंकिंग मैनेजमेंट लीडरशिप लिखा फिर नीचे इंटर्नशिप्स में भी आपने ये की स्किल लिख दी प्रोजेक्ट में भी आपने की स्किल लिख दी अब क्रिटिकल थिंकिंग आपकी स्किल है तो है ना वो तो प्रोजेक्ट में भी रिफ्लेक्ट होगी सब जगह रिफ्लेक्ट होगी तो मेरे हिसाब से रेज्यूम में पूरा चेंज करने का नीड है है ना आपने कंटेंट सही लिखा नो डाउट बट 
मेक श्योर फॉर्मेट प्रॉपर कर ये बुलेट पॉइंट एक दो लोगों ने और ऐसी कोई आपने आई थिंक कोई ऑनलाइन ऐप का यूज करते हुए टेम्पलेट वहां से लिया है पर ऐसा मत कर यार बिकॉज जब आप खुद का रेज्यूमे बनाते हो ना टेम्पलेट कहीं से नहीं छुड़ाते इट शोज के आपने अपने रेज्यूमे पर वर्क किया है इट शोज योर सिंसियरिटी राइट और वही हम कहीं से टेम्पलेट को डाटे उसमें एडिट कर देते तो इट शोज के यार रेज्यूमे बनाने में बंदे ने टाइम नहीं लगाया जबकि वो उसकी लाइफ का सबसे इंपॉर्टेंट एस्पेक्ट है ठीक है तो रेज्यूमे तो पूरा चेंज करना है आप एक बार पूरा रेज्यूमे कोर्स देखोगे बनाओगे फिर मुझे अपडेटेड रेज्यूमे शेयर करोगे फिर मैं बताऊंगा उसका फीडबैक ठीक है ये बाकी बच्चों के भी मॉक इंटरव्यू देखना उनको भी मैंने फीडबैक में रेज्यूमे फीडबैक दे रखा है ठीक है वो भी देखना और फिर उसके बाद अपन जज करेंगे कि भाई कहाँ पर हम इम्प्रूवमेंट कर सकते हैं ठीक है तो ये हो गया डन रेज्यूमे वाला पार्ट दूसरा जो चीज आपको 100% परसेंट श्योर हो भाई वो ही मैंशन करो इफ यूर नॉट कंफर्टेबल अबाउट एंड्रॉइड सिंपली से इंट्रोडक्शन या जब भी प्रोजेक्ट के बारे में बात है से सर मैंने एंड्रॉइड के टूल्स को यूज किया है बट जितना मुझे जरूरत पड़ती गई उतना मैं गूगल आउट करता गया सीखता गया प्रोजेक्ट बना लिया प्रैक्टिकली आई एम वेरी गुड बट इफ यू आस्क मी एनी थियोरिटिकल क्वेश्चन आई माइट नॉट बी एबल टू आंसर इट है ना ये हम पहले से बता देंगे ना तो दिस इज ओके बट वो पूछने पे आए और फिर हम बता दें तो इट्स लाइक वो चोरी वाला काम हो जाता है तो अंटिल एन अनलेस यू आर नॉट इवन आपने फायर बेस लिखा विजुअल स्टूडियो कोड लिखा यू आर नॉट कंफर्टेबल इन आंसरिंग दियर इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन मेक श्योर उनको भी आप रेज्यूम से गायब कर दो नंबर ऑफ थिंग्स लिखने से फर्क नहीं पड़ता मेरा रेज्यूम देखो कि इतना घटिया है इतना कम लिखा बोलोगे कि यार नौ इंटरव्यू में ये कैसे क्लियर हो सकता है बट कम लिख के हम अपने एक्सपेक्टेशन यहाँ रखते हैं फिर जब यहाँ डिलीवर करते हैं ना अल्टीमेटली लेते ह्यूमन बींग ही रहा है ना इंटरव्यू इमोशंस के साथ खेलना है सीधी सी बात है वो भाई खुश हो जाएगा अरे भाई ये एक्सपेक्ट किया था ये निकल आया वही रेज्यूम से लोग इतनी एक्सपेक्टेशन करा के आप डिलीवर यहाँ करोगे तो आप भले आपने बाकी लोगों से अच्छा भी परफॉर्म किया बट इट विल नॉट बी अप टू देर एक्सपेक्टेशन है ना घर में दो ना दो बेटे होते हैं मम्मी के एक नालायक होता है एक अच्छा होता है अच्छे बेटे के 97 भी आए होते हैं तो उसको गाली पड़ती है नालायक के 70 भी आए होते हैं तो पार्टी दे रहे होते हैं तो ये वही बात है आपसे पहले वाले बंदे ने अच्छा नहीं भी परफॉर्म किया होगा आपने अच्छा भी किया होगा बट उसके रेज्यूम के हिसाब से उसने बेटर परफॉर्म किया होगा तो उसको सिलेक्ट कर लेंगे तो अल्टीमेटली आपकी जो सिलेक्शन और रिजेक्शन की कहानी वो एक ह्यूमन के हाथ में है तो रेज्यूमे से बहुत ज्यादा होप नहीं दिखा के परफॉर्म करना है कम्युनिकेशन वाइज आई डोंट फाइंड एनी प्रॉब्लम आंसर्स वर ऑलमोस्ट परफेक्ट गुड वर्क इन दैट बहुत अच्छा आपने किया और थोड़ा सा लाइटिंग uh, हमको बढ़ाना है हाँ सर वो सर डे में होगा तो मैं विंडो ऑब्वियस ओपन कर लूंगा ठीक है दैट इज ओके बट एज पर दिस सेटअप फर्स्ट हमको लाइटिंग बढ़ाने की नीड है Rest everything okay. is fine. Dressing sense and everything is fine. कोई चीज ऐसी जो आपको मुझसे पूछना हो हाँ सर सर मुझे रिज्यूमे के लिए पहले ही जैसे मैं आपको बोलूंगा लाइक अराउंड में वन थाउजेंड प्लस इंटरव्यूज ले चुका हूँ राइट उसमें अगर मैं आपको बोलूँ फिर टॉप फिफ्टी इंटरव्यूज की लिस्ट में अगर मैं आपको शामिल करूँ तो बिल्कुल कर सकता हूँ और कुछ आपको पूछना है अबाउट सर वो कि मैंने रिज्यूमे के लिए आपको जैसे स्टार्टिंग में बोला था वैसे ही मैंने प्लान किया है कि मैं बोलूं इंटरव्यूअर को भी आ, आपने प्लान किया है दैट इज ओके बट एज पर स्टूडेंट रिस्पॉन्स दिस ईयर मोस्ट ऑफ द टाइम्स दे आर नॉट एक्सेप्टिंग द न्यू रिज्यूमे तो फॉर यू अभी अगर आपकी डेट नहीं आई है तो जितना आपने लिखा है सी सी प्लस प्लस कोडिंग जावा दिस इज जस्टिफाइड कूट्स एंड डीबीएम इज जस्टिफाइड बट आपने जो पाइथन एच डी एम एल सी एस एस और भी जो चीजें लिखी हुई थी जावा स्क्रिप्ट थोड़ा थोड़ा बेसिक लेवल पर पढ़ लो ताकि हम एकदम ब्लैंक आउट ना हो वहां जाकर ओके okay? प्लस 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 टेल मी अबाउट योर सेल्फ इज तक की जब आपसे अपने बारे में इंट्रोड्यूस कराने का बोले बार बार इन चीजों पर कैसा आउट करना पाइथन पर जाने की कोशिश करें बार बार उनको लेकर आना सी सी प्लस प्लस जावा पर फॉर एग्जाम्पल कुछ चीज पूछी पाइथन में इसका क्या मतलब होता है फॉर एग्जाम्पल ब्रेक एंड कंटिन्यू का क्या मतलब होता है सर पाइथन में ये मतलब होता है ये सिंटेक्स सी सी प्लस प्लस में भी है इनको मैं ऐसे यूज दिस इज कॉल्ड लीडिंग द इंटरव्यू स्टैक पढ़ते हैं ना लास्ट इन फर्स्ट आउट 
तो जो आखिरी में दिमाग में जाता है वही बाहर निकल गया तो सी और सी प्लस प्लस उनके दिमाग में जाएगा वही बाहर है तो आप लिटरली अपने इंटरव्यू को लीड कर सकते हो मैंने नौ इंटरव्यू दिए मुझे पता रहता था कि अगला सवाल इंटरव्यूअर क्या पूछने वाला है पहले लिटरली बता रहा हूँ दिस इज कॉल्ड लीडिंग द इंटरव्यू यही तो दिमाग लगाना है हमको हमारे आंसर ऐसे नहीं बनाने हैं कि भाई हमको बस क्वेश्चन पूछा आंसर देना है बाकी और से बेहतर देना नॉर्मलाइजेशन पूछ रहे हैं डीबीएमएस में मैंने बाहर तीन चार लड़के आए बोला उन्होंने कहा सब ने नॉर्मलाइजेशन पूछ रहे हैं मुझे पता चला मैंने कहा यार अब नॉर्मलाइजेशन का तो आंसर सभी दे रहे हैं अब मैं क्या करूँ मुझसे नॉर्मलाइजेशन पूछा मैंने बताया नॉर्मलाइजेशन क्या होता है कितने नॉर्मल फॉर्म है फोर एन एफ फाइव एन एफ का क्या फ्यूचर स्कोप है फाइव एन एफ के बाद कहानी आगे क्यों नहीं बढ़ रही है स्क्यूएल क्वेरीज लिख करके बताई रिलेशनल एलिजेबल रिलेशनल कैलकुलर उसके बाद मैंने उनसे पूछा एनीथिंग एल्स बोला भाई थैंक यू सो मच जाओ दूसरा सवाल पूछने की कि हिम्मत ही नहीं है पंद्रह वर्ष में नॉर्मलाइजेशन समझा के आए फाइव एन एफ तो टीचर्स भी पढ़ा पाते तो ये नॉलेज बेस होने क्योंकि मैंने अपने रेज्यूमे में सिर्फ डीबीएमएस लिखा था आता मेरे को सब था गेट में तेरह सौ दो रैंक आई समझ रहे लेकिन मैं उनको बताना ही नहीं चाहता था ना मैं सीधे जाके वहां प्रूफ करना चाहता था और यही की निकली तो इसलिए रेज्यूम जितना हल्का बनाओगे उतना अच्छा है क्योंकि उससे सिलेक्शन नहीं होना है ना आप कैसा परफॉर्म कर रहे हो आप कितने ऑनेस्ट हो अपने रेज्यूम को लेकर के ये इम्पोर्टेंट है रेज्यूमे के बेसिस पे हो रहा होता तो फिर तो यार सब चार चार तो कर दिया था वो आप मुझे व्हाट्सएप कर देना कोई इशू नहीं ओके सर थैंक यू सर ओके सो गाइज दिस वॉज द एंड ऑफ मॉक इंटरव्यू मैं उम्मीद करता हूँ आपने बहुत सारी चीजें सीखी होंगी यदि आप भी अपना मॉक इंटरव्यू शेड्यूल कराना चाहते हैं तो डिस्क्रिप्शन में आपको लिंक दिख रही है मॉक इंटरव्यू बाय यस जिन सर जाकर के अपना मॉक इंटरव्यू जरूर से शेड्यूल कराएं ताकि मैं आपको बता पाऊं कि आपने इंटरव्यू में कैसा परफॉर्म किया और क्या क्या आपके अंदर स्कोप ऑफ इंप्रूवमेंट है वीडियो को लाइक करें सब्सक्राइब करें दोस्तों में शेयर करें थैंक यू सो मच